Hi everybody, this is Ellen. I have another tutorial for you and this time it is for a baby turtle. They're absolutely adorable. I mean, they're so little and tiny. Um, I just couldn't, I uh, kept seeing people making the families of them and stuff and I thought it was really cute how they'd have them all, but um, like here's my original turtle. You can see the difference in size here, so now you can actually have a mom or a dad and the little babies that go along with them. So um, I'll show you how to make this. It's on one loom. Um, it's pretty easy. Uh, let's see. The only thing is that um, I do do double banding. I think it um, works out the best when we do that. So there are places that do get a little tight um, with the metal hook. It's there's no issue, um, but I'm not sure how the plastic hook in places might might be a little tight so you'll have to kind of stretch your bands and be careful as you're pulling them through. Um, I did do this one single banded and still came out cute but there is a difference. Um, I did have to stuff a little piece of fishtail inside of them because it just didn't puff up quite as much. So you can single band if you know you have issues with your your hook and you're worried about that. This one I gave a little bit different tail too but um, but the, there's only, it just help a little bit if you, if you want to still do it but you're worried about your hook. You can still single band in places, but um, you will have to stuff them when you're done to kind of get his rump to stay up. I think these are cute because their legs sometimes will make them so that they, they'll sit up instead of all being on all fours. But uh, I'll show you how to make these. It's pretty easy, hopefully. Uh, we'll get started here. And actually, we'll, first we'll start with doing the, um, the little parts that they need. And this is a baby, so we got to make things smaller. So we're going to start with the legs first. So one band on your hook, double it up, grab both circles, and twist it over again. I'll zoom in here a little bit. So we have that. Now we want to take another band, double it up on the hook, grab both sides, and you want to pull it through the bands that are on your hook. Yeah, if you can. And then put the other end back on. Like that. Let me do that again. To so double a band. Got both sides. Pull it through. Like that. And that's we're going to pull one more band through and then that'll be the leg. This one we're not going to double up, we're just going to pull it straight through. Like this. Because we couldn't put all four of these on the pin for a leg. It'd just be way too tight. So I'll show you how we'll kind of make, um, squeeze these in when we put them on the pins later so it's not just hanging off of the body. So I'll just take this and um, we're going to be working down at the beginning of the loom here, so just kind of go to the other end. You can just put that on there for now. So we need to make three more. So same way, take a band, double it, grab both sides, double it again. Take another band, double it, pull it through, put the other end on the hook, do that again, band, double it, pull it through, and then just pull a straight band through. And I'll set it on my loom again. So, two more. You can, of course, fast forward if you don't want to watch this, but if you need to see it, it's here. Double 
Again, double it up. Pull through. Another one. And then a band through. And then set it on our loom. And then one more. And I always try to center it on there a little better if I can. I'm going to band through, and then we'll set this on our loom as well. Alright, so there's the legs. Um, if you want to do kind of a bigger tail like this, or if you just want to do a little loop, we can put that on later. Um, if you want to do the tail, you'll probably want to make that now. I'll show you how I made it. Um, or you can just have no tail, so that's up to you too. But the tail is just one band wrapped around the hook, doubled, and then flip it over again, and take one band and pull it through. So that's just if you want kind of a bigger knotty tail, but you don't have to have that. It's either either or, or none. All right, so we have that. Now we want to make the head. So we're going to turn our loom so that it's um, the non-red arrow side is facing us. And just kind of up here somewhere, we only need about this much area here for the head. What we're going to do first is take two bands, lay it across the loom like this, then take one band, cross over the top of it, and now we need to make some eyes. Um, if you've watched my other video, you can make the eyes um, exactly that way with the, um, the big double black band. Um, you can add do beads. Um, the white parts are on the outside. So that's basically what we're doing for this turtle as well. It's just the, <clears throat> they're the same basic thing. I just used, or I'm going to use beads for them. These are about the size of like um, the seed beads, not the real tiny ones, but the bigger size, like the six. I can't remember, but it's, they're fairly large. They're not the tiny ones. So I'm going to do the beads, um, but you can certainly do the, um, the wrapping the rubber bands around. But you want to get them as tight as you possibly can um, to do that because you want them to be small. I'm going to do beads. So I'm just taking a wire, putting it through a band. Grab my bead. Find the hole. I'm just going to pull it down about three quarters of the way on the band. When we put these on for the eyes, we want to have like the loose part or most like a big loop for right here. And we want everything else kind of shoved up by this pin right here. So I'm just going to put it down a little bit. And that's the same thing you'll do if you wrap black rubber bands around this for that. Now, I'm going to use this to do the rest of the eye. It's the same thing as your hook. It's not 
much different except for it has this. This is a latch hook. Um, they use it to fix rugs or there's projects you can make rugs and pillows and things like that with it. Um, <clears throat> I just thought I'd show everybody that um, you can pick one of these up there. I think this was like three fifty maybe for this. But these make things a lot easier um, with sliding the bands over. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, first we want to do we're going to do an eyebrow on this guy again. So if you don't have this hook, just pretend you're doing this on this hook. It's the same thing. I'm going to take it, I'm going to wrap that band around once, and I'm just going to grab one band, wrap it around again, so it gets stuck on the little hook, and even a fourth time. So I just have one band wrapped around four times. I wouldn't double it, just grab it and pull it over, grab both sides and pull it over, because then they don't spread out as much, and the brow kind of looks a little funny that way. So I have those on there, and now we're going to do the, the white part of the eye. And that's just one band, double it over, and then grab both bands, try not to twist them too much and then flip it over again. And then just kind of even them out a little bit, make sure that the cross is in the back, that it's not pulled too tight on one band or another. Just want it to be nice and loose and as flat as possible. And then if you have the normal hook, you're just going to take the part that has the black on it or, or your eye pupil. In my case it's the bead. You might just have the black bands wrapped around really tight. Um, put that on the end of your hook and then you're going to pull all of this over it. But with the latch hook, that goes down. And I just take this and I slide it off. See how easy that was? I'm excited. So now I have one eye already. So like that. And now we're going to put this on here. And like I said, we want most of the eye to be by this pin. We want the lo loose leftover band to be over here. Um, we also want the eye to face down. So I'm going to put it on like this so the pupil is away from me. So I'll just put this end up here. And then slide this side on. So like that. So we make another eye. So again, one band. Flip it over once, just grab one of the bands, flip it again, and one more time. And then just try and get all the cross stuff in the back, or just on one side so you can flip it easier. And then you want the stuff around the eye. So flipped once. Grab both of them, flip again, and then try and get it flat. Sometimes there's always a band that wants to twist, so you want to try and get that in the back. So like that. Then you'll put your other band on your hook, and you'll slide that stuff onto the eye. You definitely don't have to have this hook, but I mean, as you can see, it makes it a little easier. So if you do a lot of figures with the eyes like this or different things, would be wouldn't be a bad investment to pick up. I mean, it is functional for other things as well. So, so there's my other eye. I'll put it right here. Pointing down again. Now, two bands, and you're going to um, put a cat band basically with two bands on this pin. Try not to twist them up too much. This does turn to be the turtle's mouth area. 
to like that. Now for looping his head, you're going to go through both of the end caps, just grab whichever top eyeball band, and then pull it back towards itself. Do the same for the other side. Then go in and grab the middle. Then come over to one of the sides and you're going to go down and grab the two bottom bands that are cross underneath. Grab those two, bring them up here. Do the same thing on the other side. Like that. And you can let these off. And that is the head. I'll show you what it looks like. So like that. It's kind of this little smiley guy. I did do, try like triple wrapping these and it just it looked really tight and it looked kind of goofy but I thought but you can certainly make it smaller if you want to do that. Plus I like got a weird band sticking out. Once you adjust them, they'll look better too. So it's a cute little baby head. And you can see the difference between mama and baby. So if you haven't taken it off your loom, you can leave it on there because we actually need to just set it back on a pen for now. Or you can leave it on a hook leave it on your hook if you already have it there and uh, we'll come back to it fairly soon so I'm just putting that there so now we have all the parts made so now we'll go for the body and in the body I will tell you where um, you where you absolutely have to double band and then um, everything else on it would be your option if you want a single or double band but um, like I said, if you single band, you'll have to probably stuff him a little bit to have a poof effect, but that's up to you. Um, also, I'll say that band choice really makes a difference in what it looks like. I know I got that pokey one there. It bothers me, but um, like I had, these are both tight bands, the green and the orange, so they were kind of, um, they're a little bit more difficult to get to make into that poof that I had. Um, on this one, the burgundy is a tight band, but the orange was a loose band, and I thought he turned out pretty well, and it was easy to poof, kind of happened out right away, so. Um, and these I actually use loose bands on the top, and then they're tight on the side, and I don't, this is the one that was single banded too, so I don't know if that made a difference as well. But band choice will definitely um, affect how the turtle looks on the top. But just thought I'd share that so if you take it off the loom and you're like, that doesn't look like it. What the heck, she didn't teach me right. But it's just band choices. They definitely make a difference for how they look. Alright, so enough talking. Um, we're going to go down here. Um, these have to be double banded. So two bands, and we're just going to make a little hexagon pattern. like that. And same on the other side. So there's our hexagon. And now, we'll actually put that head on now. So I can go grab him again. And you actually want it so that um, this part that's underneath, it's going to be the top of the shell. So imagine it kind of poofing down because that's where the, the top of the shell is. So you want the head to be um, facing down as well when you put it on. So you want to make sure that the, the mouth is up and the eyes are down. We're going to take this and set it on this top pin. that. 
I did try changing the position of it because it does kind of come out um, in a different spot than other stuff, but because the legs will go on later than the head. But if I put it underneath, then his head was like all smooshed down. So that's why we put the head on now. So once we have that, we are going to do the um, the shell banding. The first bands that we put on, they're going to be the top of the shell. And these can, these are the ones that you can single band if you want. I'm going to double band them still. But we're just going to go and make a starburst. So two bands coming from the center out to every pin around, or one band if you want. that. And then a band, make an end cap. Just wrapping it twice is usually good. And then we're actually going to loom this out. So turn your loom around. Go in through that center end cap. Loom this out, grab the top band, and pull it back towards itself all the way around. like that. And now what we're going to do is you can just leave your loom like this, but we actually need to do that puff technique and um, lower this so that it'll puff out the other side. I chose not to lay the bands on first because it just there's so many of them and it, they kind of got in the way anyway. So um, what we're going to do is you can use one band or two. I'm doing two again. You're going to go in through the top starburst that we just laid. Don't do the, don't go through the bottom perimeter band, but grab one or two bands, whichever you're using, pull it up through, put both ends on your hook, pull that off, and then place it back on the pin. Like that. And then we're going to do that all the way around. Pull them up. Try not to twist them. By doing this too, like I know there's going to be a lot of bands on the pins here, but they aren't like tight, so that helps too that um, that you're not risk of doing any hook damage or anything like that. So. Or helps to lessen the risk, I guess. But I know people have told me before that they've broken hooks doing some of my bracelets, and I feel really bad about that because I think they associate the breakage with my hook or with my bracelet. But I mean, some of them are tight banding, but sometimes it's just you know your hook. You're not looking at it. You're not paying attention to it, and um, you don't notice the stress marks, and then all of a sudden it breaks on something, and you know it goes just like that. It doesn't really give you a warning of. I'm going to break soon. I'm going to do the same thing by the head. Just don't grab the headbands. like that. Now I'm going to push those down because we're going to put the legs on. So come down and grab a leg. They're pretty stable because the bands are so tight in the bottom part. But what we're going to do is we're going to put legs on these four pins right here and to make them so that these 
Because once we band this all up, these will like hang way off if we don't tighten them up somehow. What I do is I put one half of the band on carefully so that your band doesn't come out. I'll grab the other side, put that on, pull it, and then twist it. And you want to grab the other side, and we're just going to basically turn the end cap into one side. So now they're triple looped on here, but they aren't um, quadruple, so it's not as tight. You can still move them around. Um, helps with worrying about your, your hook getting through there. But this way they're not hanging off the turtle loosely. So we'll do that with all of them. So again, just put you can put the whole thing on there if you want. Then you just want to grab the top band, pull it a little tight. You can use the pin to hold it, twist it. Then you want to grab the far side, or if you're twisting it the same way, you just want to be able to grab it so that you can um, have that X to flip it back over. But you can also just grab it with your fingers and twist it and put it back on too. But I think this works a little easier. Plus I gotta keep my fingers out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. And last one. The yellow I put on, by the way, is the orange on this one. I figured you would guess that. Because <laughs> I told you the other part was the top part was the red, so. Alright. So last leg. I'll turn this. Top band, pull it a little tight. Twist. Twist the other way. Like that. Now we've got four little legs on there. And now here's where, if you want to put the tail on, excuse me, the tail on, um, you can either just take a band and do an end cap right here, like that, or just the same thing with the little tail piece we made before. Just take both ends and put them on this pin. So you have a little bit bigger tail, or you can have no tail, so that's up to you. So there's all that, and now we're going to do the belly, which kind of disappears up inside of the poof, um, but he just needs that kind of stabilizing to help so this actually stays up. So the belly you can't see a whole lot, but it's there. So to do that, because we're still just doing surface banding, we can just stay with the loom facing this way. Um, these are single banded, so we, cause we don't need to add more um, girth to the guy. It's a little baby. And we're just going to do a starburst right on top. like that. And then a end cap. You do two or three times, it's up to you. Um, I'll do three. It kind of varies sometimes and just depends on the band. Sometimes it's I need three, sometimes I should have done three. So we'll see how that goes. But we're just going to loom out the top part we just put on. So in through the end cap and just the one band starburst stuff that we just put on, loom that out. Alright, 
So that's all of that. And now we can loom this guy out. So this does end up being tight, um, mainly because of the turtle's head. So you have to kind of be careful in through here. If you have the plastic hook supporting it by putting your finger down right in front of it will help so you're not just relying on that little part down here to support it. So you'll need to go in there and grab the bottom band for the perimeter, bottom bands for the perimeter, pull those up and loom up to the tail. Like that, and then we do the other side. And if you need to, if you can just get that band up a little bit, grab it and then pull it over instead of relying on your hook. Like that. So there we go. And I just kind of, I usually take my hook and kind of go around to help reposition the bands, let them loose a little bit so they aren't tight on one side and not tight on the other. And you kind of get that, when you pull off the loom it sticks on one side so all the bands kind of go goofy. It doesn't always help because we do have to do some fussing with it after we're done. but. So then you have that. So now take another band, which we will hide later. You're going to go through everything on this pin and pull a band up through it. Like that. And put that on your hook. Now we can take this guy off. I would definitely suggest to just, just using your fingers to lift off the first pin. And then once you have that off, you can grab the rubber bands themselves by the turtle, by his butt, I guess, and pull it off. And then I'll show you how I close this guy. So you kind of see I have the rubber band pulled through. What I do is take the hook while hanging on to everything and trying to show you. I'll go up through the tail, if you have one. So go up through the middle of the tail bands. I go up through that my yellow bands here, so that kind of middle or the side of the turtle shell. Go through those yellow ones, or those bands. Put the other end on my hook, and then pull that end all the way through all the bands. So now I have both ends on the bottom. And I'll just pull that first band through the second one and then tighten it up. And then we'll bury this inside of him in a second. And I'll show you how I do that. So it looks pretty good. Got a couple little things I gotta fix here. These gotta kinda move them around. If you got any bands stuck funny. Usually just kind of squishing them on the sides. Gets that pop to come up and you will have to come back and kind of smoosh them out again a little bit but um, just kind of get the little arms and legs pulled out you can take your hook if you feel like it's not working right um, take your hook and I'd start by going in through these bands on the side next to the perimeter or next to the edge of the shell and pull those up because those are if they're like pulled way down that's what's keeping the poof of the turtle from going up so once you let those up then that should help to let this up too it's hard because rubber bands are just kind of they really do have a mind of their own as far as where they want to go 
you can kind of say you're going to be, be right there and look nice, but it doesn't always work that way. So just do that around your turtle if you need to. Give him that little squish, and if you can take your band up through the middle here, you can pull him down. So all kinds of different ways to get him to go how you want to. And then, with the band that's poking out, I usually just take my hook, stick it through the top here, bring it down through kind of some of the middle bands and that border. I snag some more again. Okay. Like so. You can adjust the face, put the eyes back if they got messed up or anything. But you can definitely see that each turtle will be unique um, as far as where the legs end up point, pointing, you can move them around a little bit so you can get them where you want to. Um, I think this turtle actually does best when he's kind of sitting, looking at you, and not necessarily on his butt, or on his legs, I should say. That should be in there. Pulled it up too far. So, little happy baby turtle, super cute, just have to fuss with him a little bit, but he goes well with the mommies. So thank you for watching, I hope that you enjoy the little baby turtles, because they are adorable, I think it's something ingrained in especially girls the smaller and cuter it is you gotta have it so um, thanks for watching um, I hope to have more stuff for you soon I'm just kinda doing whatever inspires me and it's different things a lot of times this is me with my four kids just going mom mom please alright sorry thanks everybody don't forget to subscribe um, I'll have more stuff for you soon